Well, an important visit today uh, from Germany, and it's leading to real action in terms of cooperation. South African and German scientists and engineers are hoping to advance technology research for the production of sustainable aviation fuels. President Ramaphosa and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz today launched a South African-German technology consortium in Santon. It's part of Scholz's first visit to South Africa since taking office last December. Govan Whittles was there and he joins us now. So Govan, this sounds like something uh, really important, this collaboration for green jet fuel, sustainable jet fuel. Tell us more. Well, it is very important uh, for the country's objectives, especially towards the just transition towards a low carbon based economy. But what we're seeing here is but certainly not the first um, effort that South Africa is making towards producing green hydrogen. It's become clear that that is going to be an integral part of our transition towards uh, achieving net zero status by 2050. And uh, a few weeks ago, we were in Mokopane at the Anglo-Americans mine where they launched the world's first ever hydrogen truck. And there we saw a green hydrogen factory uh, which was just on the side of the of the mine which is producing the hydrogen needed for the truck to operate and the president said there that they intend on setting up a green hydrogen valley from Limpopo, Gauteng to uh, KwaZulu Natal eventually reaching the port of Durban. So what we're seeing today here at the Sassel headquarters in Johannesburg follows from that um, and their efforts to create green jet fuel using green hydrogen um, is meant to achieve some of those objectives. Let's talk about this uh, with the Minister of Trade and industry minister ibrahim patel thank you so much for your time minister so just tell us what kind of impact green jet fuel or sustainable aviation fuel would have on south africa well first of all it uses south african technology so the fisher drop uh, technology that underpins Sassel's uh, ability to turn coal into oil is now being repurposed with some new innovations that would enable this cleaner greener jet fuel and there are a number of advantages to South Africa. First, in bringing research and capacity here, scientists, uh, young engineers and others having opportunity in South Africa. And as we pilot this project, which will take a couple of years, we'll eventually be able to have a commercially viable uh, project subject to the, uh, the feasibility and the pilot uh, results, which will then produce this kind of fuel right across the world. Some of the dividends that flow from the use of their technology will come back to South Africa, will help uh, ordinary South Africans in our own capital base. But I guess more significantly, what it underlies is using South African know-how, ingenuity and technology to drive a path for green um, uh, energy and for green hydrogen as a source for that. Uh, we are able to be, in important respects, a global leader in this massive transition that the world is going through, moving from coal-based technologies to the new technologies that are more sustainable, that uh, give society uh, the ability to power our homes and our industries without the massive destruction to the environment. The floods in KwaZulu-Natal has underlined to us again how important it is that we must make our contribution to a more climate resilient future. And this, uh, this kind of project, and this is one of a number of, of examples of South African technology and know-how being harnessed towards the global good and jobs in South Africa. Just want to come in there. So this obviously entails the expertise that's here at Sassel, teaming up with the scientists in Germany to develop this. What kind of jobs do you think could be created here? Well, I think first uh, in the pilot period, it will be the, the jobs that chemical engineers and others will have. It will be advanced research. The University of Cape Town is also one of the partner universities, so we're not leaving all of the innovation uh, f- uh, to Germany. A lot of that innovation will come here to South Africa. And then, of course, there are the technicians' jobs uh, that are in the demonstration plant, in the, in the pilot plant. And then the jobs that will come as the project matures uh, and it's capable of being rolled out uh, elsewhere in the world will be, uh, no doubt, use South African uh, skills and uh, capabilities. We're almost out of time, but just to ask you about the relationship between South Africa and Germany. It was a very robust engagement between the President and the Chancellor um, of Germany on issues of energy and of Ukraine and of uh, COVID-19. How do you think South African-German relations are at the end of his visit as he prepares to go back to Germany? 
Being in the discussions, uh, what struck me is the warmth and the importance that both parties uh, give to this relationship. Germany is our second biggest trading partner. Uh, we sell about uh, 12 billion euros of goods to Germany. Quite a lot of that is in the auto industry. We sell cars and trucks and component parts and catalytic converters. Uh, all of that uh, accounts for about uh, 4 billion um, euros. That's an enormous uh, number of jobs created here in South Africa. Germany too sells a range of machinery and equipment and other uh, high value added products to South Africa. So here's an opportunity for us. South Africa is the continent's biggest car maker. We, we produce between 500,000 and 600,000 cars a year. All of these cars use the uh, internal combustion engine technology. But the world is shifting to electric uh, vehicles and p p potentially down the line to um, uh, uh, fuel uh, cell technologies, as we saw with the, the example of the, the truck that Anglo-American is using on its minds now. And again, South Africa is looking for global partnerships to transform the auto sector here and to give South Africa a slice of the battery manufacturing and the electric vehicle component manufacturing uh, industry. That's where there's real jobs, real development and real opportunity for young South Africans. Thank you so much. That's the Minister of Trade and Industry, Minister Ibrahim Patel. And of course, South Africa's cooperation with Germany remains strong, as the minister said, and potentially more exciting announcements ahead as it relates to solar energy and the production of those battery cells uh, towards electric vehicles. For now, it's back to you, Sally. Well, it certainly sounds like it's been a really productive and promising visit. Thank you so much, ENCA's Govan Whittles.